In today's video, we are going to be attempting to supplement on regular acrylic keychains from Amazon. If you want to see how it turns out, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do cricket and supplementation videos, mostly supplementation. So if either of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's jump into this video. So these keychains are from Amazon, as I mentioned. They come in a 30 pack. They come with a little card that kind of shows you a little bit of instructions. Um, they come with the little tassels. They come with um, the key rings and the smaller rings to attach the key rings. The key rings have like a little chain to them. And then they come with the acrylic blanks. So we're going to be attempting to sub on these. These are $10.99 for this 30 pack, which is not bad, especially since it comes with the tassels and everything like that. These are two inch keychains, which I think is a good size. I don't really want like a huge keychain with my keys. So I think these are a good size. We're going to attempt to personalize these and kind of see how they turn out. For this project, we're going to need our designs. I made my designs two by two, I believe, just to have some, a little bit of wiggle room. Um, you're going to need some scissors to cut your design. You're going to need your acrylic blanks. Um, I find it best to use um, a weeding tool to take off the plastic film that's on there. You need some butcher paper when you press it. You're going to need a, a bowl of warm water on the side because we're going to dump it in there as soon as we heat press. If you want, you can get some acrylic paint to paint the back of these because we're only going to sub on one side. So you can get some acrylic paint, you can get glitter, Mod Podge, you can get creative with the back side of it. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do just yet. And you're going to need some pliers to put the ring on the keychains. So you're going to take your weeding tool and you're going to press it like that. I find it easiest to go right here by the hole and then pull it from there. Some have plastic on one side, some only have it, some have it on both sides. These have it on both sides. So you want to make sure you have no dust or anything on them. take my design and I'm just gonna put it like this we're not gonna use heat tape because if you use heat tape what's gonna happen is that when you put it on the heat press that heat tape will actually make a indent and you'll see that especially if you have too much pressure on them so I actually think I'm gonna cut these because that's gonna make it easier especially if I'm pressing without heat tape it's just gonna make it easier I think I'm gonna do one at first try it out and then we'll do the rest of them. So we're gonna move on to our heat press to prep it and see how this goes. Okay, so I have my butcher paper down. I'm gonna put my acrylic, make sure it's where I want it to be. I'm gonna place it down, get butcher paper on top. I have a bowl of water on the side of warm water and I'm gonna dump it in as soon as it's done pressing. I'm pressing at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. <laughs> I try not to do too much pressure because I don't want there to be any indents in the acrylic. Make sure you have heat gloves on. I'm gonna take quickly take it. I'm gonna dump it in. Make sure it's fully submerged. Make sure it's fully submerged and you wanna rub off all the paper in the water. And that's how it looks. And putting it in warm water is also going to make it not curl up as much because you know plastic is going to bend with heat. So we're going to do this again for the rest of them. I'm putting this to the side for it to dry. So now we're going to take one of these rings and we're going to put it through our acrylic then we're going to take one of the key rings with the 
little chain and we're gonna put the last hoop of the chain in there along with our tassel. Like that. Oh, it's not focusing. I'm gonna take this tool on one side and hold it and then I'm gonna take my other pliers on the other side and then I'm just going to move them to close them. I really like how these turned out. Um, there's a bit of a, like a frost to them, which I think is a good thing because it kind of helps um, make it less transparent and kind of add a little bit of whiteness to those areas that um, don't have to white because when you sub, you know, white doesn't sub. You know what I'm saying. Anywho. I really like how these turned out. I think they're cute. Like I said, you can paint the back. You can add um, Mod Podge, then glitter, then Mod Podge to seal that glitter, which would be really, really cute. Do, there's a lot of things you can do. You can put vinyl on the back, like white vinyl or colored vinyl on the back. Different ways you can personalize, it, personalize this. You can put an epoxy on the back. Um, however you choose to do, I think these are great. Um, now you know you don't gotta pay all this money for sublimation keychains. You can just buy acrylic blanks. These were $10.99 for 30 of them. So great, great deal. Let me know down below if you guys try it. Let me know how you guys liked it. Did it turn out well for you? Um, I love interacting with you guys. So don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And hit the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.